Hello everyone and welcome back uh, to Marathon Alliance 24. Uh, this event is benefiting Project Hope and you can find all the links to the date uh, uh, in the description and as well by tapping exclamation mark donate. So uh, here we are now with our new run for this wonderful blog, uh, New Kids Nitro Racer by Ugyu. So that's enough for me now, you've heard enough of me, take it away. Yes, thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm Ugyu. Uh, this is a silly little racing game. With me here I have my plushies. And my cat, who decided to sleep here, so she'll be here for a few minutes, I think. She just woke up. Uh, anyway, New Kids Nitro Racer. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a very weird game. It's based off of, like, a, uh, a series and a movie called New Kids. Uh, it's very... Uh, very explosive, very loud. It's... it's... Uh, yeah. We'll just get right into it, because we have a lot to talk about in this run. Uh, you may notice I have mo modified the music a little. That's fine, I'll talk about why later. Uh, so the t timer will start as soon as I select go on the first mission. So let's load in first. Uh, I will do a countdown. We'll start in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So, uh, this is New Kids Nitro Racer. It's a little silly game based off of New Kids. Uh, for this first mission, we are basically driving through town because we want to get some drinks. The only problem is, the supermarket is closing in like five minutes, so we're driving through town as fast as possible. Uh, the funny thing is, this is uh, all taking place in a little town called Maskonchu, which is based off of a real place in the Netherlands. Oh, I just slipped, okay. So here we go, we got our drinks, we're gonna turn around, oh there's a car, okay, they're fine, don't worry about it. So we're just driving back, we're going to go to the playground because we love hanging out at the playground. Who doesn't? They're all fun, they're, they're nice little places to just hang out and talk. There we go. Uh, we have unlimited boost, we can use it throughout the run as long as possible. And now my controller doesn't work, uh oh. Hold on. I've had this once. Wait. Or I can drive. Oh, that's cool. My controller is not working anymore. Let me just go into the main menu real quick. We have enough time. One. Hey, there we go. Yay. Cool. I fixed it. There we go. So uh, we're just driving around town now and hugging our friends. Like there's some friends they want we want to meet up with. We're just giving them a hug. And we gotta turn around. This routing is a bit hard. They all spawn at the same place, but it's just kind of an awkward place there. You have to turn around because they're right over here. Oh, oh, whoops. That's fine. Alright. So I am driving the famous green Opomanta. Which is used throughout the entire series, mind you. It's a real car. Next mission. So if you're ever wondering what happened to all the phone booths in the country, why did they all just disappear once? Was it the smartphones? If you really want to know, uh, the real reason why phone booths disappeared is because of these guys. Secretly, they went around the entire country one day and somehow they, they just disappeared. We just drove into all of them. There we go. Don't mind the chairs. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Coming through. Sorry. Damn, we have to destroy some phone booths. Go around here. Whee! There's one. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa. Whoa, okay. The physics in this game are kind of weird and very wacky. Oh, here's the police. Oh no, we have to escape. So, uh, to escape, what we basically do is we just drive in a straight line past them. And if I just keep driving this way, they, they're gone. Now you may be wondering, what happened to the playgrounds around town? We're not friends with them anymore. 
we, we liked going to the playground once, but then we realized they're secretly our enemies. Uh, so we're just... Oh, okay, that tree has full collision. I didn't know that. That's a thing I found out today. Uh, yeah, we are just going to go around and destroy every single playground. They need renovation. They, they just need new ones. We're going to build new ones. Now, I'm going to be a little careful here. During practice, I crashed my game consistently in this place. And I think... Oh, wait. I have to turn around here. It would have happened if I hit one of those poles to the further left of the road, but luckily it didn't happen this time. I don't know what caused the crash exactly. So, there we go. We're just clearing up all of the playgrounds around town to make for renovations, yeah. We have to go over here. There's the swings. Cool. So, we're now really hungry. Uh, we want to get some Chinese food. I love Asian food. I love sushi. I love all of that. These guys love their Asian food as well. Uh, our friend is bringing us to the place. And then we just have to take it from him. But we can't hit him. He's very shy. He doesn't like to be hugged. So, I'm just gonna get ahead here. Oh, no! Ah, oh, I couldn't do my strat. So there is a strat I can do there. If I drive in front of him and then break, I can do massive amounts of damage and just win instantly. But that didn't happen this time, unfortunately. Oh, oh, I forgot what route he goes. No, get back here. This mission's kind of hard if it goes wrong. You have to just... There we go. Cool. So we got ourselves some Asian food, some lovely sushi, some lovely rice, chicken. Uh, this mission, the music is off because we have to actually listen. Uh, we have to find our friend. We're like a really big fan of someone. We have to find them to uh, get an autograph. And we want to take a picture with him. So I have to listen here. She always spawns in the same spot. Okay. Yay, we did it. Oh, we flipped. Usually that doesn't uh, go perfectly. For this one, if I break in front of this guy's car, I can get a lot of money. Because we want money to buy more food. Oh, he passed me. Okay. So if I normally hit him, my car just stops instantly, and we don't want that. Oh, that didn't work. Hmm, normally that gives me all of the money I need. Yeah, so my car just stops for like a second, then I can't drive. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, one more hit should do. There we go. We got the money. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so why is the music different, you might wonder. What? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, so it's because this game has its own music. I don't know if it's DMCA safe. So I, I just replaced it. Same with some of the dialogue. It's kind of vulgar. The game's kind of vulgar. I might actually lose this. Hold on. We're getting drinks again because uh, something's gonna explode. But New Kids is pretty vulgar usually, uh, but the audio files are just available. You can just edit every single audio file in the game if you want to. And so I did. Well, almost. I, I, I kept most of them. There we go. So the gas station is going to blow up for some reason. This is just like a set piece for a Hollywood movie. It's just some some props. Hooray, explosion. No. Uh, so we have fireworks now. And we want to give it to our friends. We ordered a bunch for our friends as well. 
There we go. Give them the fireworks. I'm gonna turn around here. Right, so unfortunately this car steers very badly. It has a lot of understeer and so does the later car we get after this. So we have to be very careful. There we go, turn around. We're just delivering fireworks. There we go. As long as I keep boosting, we'll be fine. Cool. I can spam this as much as I want, but it's hard to boost and spam at the same time. So I'll just get close to them and then spam. I have to press the bottom face button to boost. And... Oh, that wasn't them. Where are they? There they are. If I want to throw fireworks, then I have to press the top face button, so it's kind of awkward controls. Where are they? Yeah, there we go. Turn around, okay. If you're unsure what language this game is in, uh, New Kids is entirely in Dutch, so every anyone who's from the Netherlands will probably be familiar with this series. They've probably heard of it in the past. So, now we're just going around town. Because there's a there's a truck and it spilled a whole bunch of energy drink. We're just gonna go around and get it. Secretly, it's booze. We're just getting booze. Uh, and since I'm doing an event run, I cannot go grab the can. It is based off of a real existing uh, beer. It's it's an actual beer you, that exists. But I'm not a fan of beer, and I'm doing an event run, so I'm not gonna be drinking that. There we go. We're just going around. Very nice. Well, here, here we have to turn around. Weep. Now I have to go left. As long as I stay on the sidewalks, uh, my car does not run the risk of flying into the air like that. So I'm gonna try to be careful here. Otherwise I might fling the car. I have a huge motion sickness warning for the next mission, so if you do if you are easily motion sick, uh, look away now. This has very, very shaky, tilty camera. So, motion sickness warning. I will tell you when it's over. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we're drunk, and we have to get home. That's basically what we're doing. Oh, it's really hard to see anything, especially with sunglasses. So I'm looking to drive on the side of the road. Avoid as many cars as possible. There we go. Cool. All right, motion sickness warning over. Now we're raising our opponent, Dave. He's in the series, I think he's in the movie too. As like the, the main antagonist. He's got a cool uh, dark grey Opamanta instead of a green one. So it's a really fierce uh, competition here. Unfortunately, this race is very easy. If I, even if I don't even uh, boost at all, you can still win easily. Uh oh. Physics, physics. Alright. I think he is actually catching up a little. Whee! Watch out. Here we go to the right. And through the streets here. Watch out for the car. Ooh, hello. Ah, sorry. We're just going to drive through the grass. Whoa. All right. One, two. Here's the end of the race. This is the last checkpoint. We won. Yay. 
Uh, now for some reason, Dave is a vampire. Uh, loud explosion warning if I destroy his car. It's very random, this mission, and I might die. If I scratch into the side of his car, I might win. Yay! There we go. Uh, so now... Lots of dialogue. Uh, the town is full of vampires, but they look like zombies. We don't really know what they are. The New Kids Gang calls them vampires. Sometimes they call them zombies. So I'll let you decide if they're zombies or vampires. Uh, I can't reverse. There we go. So this car in particular that we're driving now steers very badly. So we have to often stop and turn around. Here we go. Go here, turn around. Yep. This car also has a gun mounted on the front, but we can't actually use that for some reason. So we just have to drive around and run into the vampire zombies. I think they're just vampire zombies. Oh, I forgot one. Hold on. I have to get 30 of them. Yeah, get over here. Uh-oh. Forgetting one is really punishing. Because you really struggle turning this car around. There we go. We just have to get a few more. We're ignoring the one on the left, because that's a bit slow. I would have to turn around 180. There's one right over here. Then we go right. Get this one. I need five more, four more. Okay, I'm taking a bit of a different route here, but that's fine. And... Birdie! Alright, cool. Uh, so if you liked destroying vampires, how about we do that for another five minutes? We have a glorious little song to listen to from Katamari Damashi for like five minutes. Uh, this is unskippable. You literally just have to wait for the timer to run out and get as much score as possible. Uh, I am wondering how much score I get, and I might donate equal to that or half that, depending on how high my score is. I am wondering, since we have like four minutes, if our host... If, if they would like to say anything about the uh, charity we're raising money towards, then you have... Lots of time to do that right now. Uh, well, absolutely. Um, yes, because right now, uh, this amazing event is raising funds for Project Hope. Uh, so, uh, in, so if you don't know what they are, uh, they are a global health and humanitarian org that believes in the power of hope. Uh, during disasters, conflicts, and health emergencies, they bring medical aid, provide mental health support, echo clinics, help new mothers with limited access to care, and more. And beyond that, some of the projects uh, that they currently are helping out in, is that, for example, they are providing urgent aid in Lebanon, Gaza, and Ukraine, responding to natural disasters worldwide, addressing the global mental health crisis, supporting health workers, and spreading health and hope to the world. Like, it can really be said that hope is really, is their key word uh, in that work. Uh, and, you know, you guys are bringing up uh, that hope up uh, with, with the donations that have been there so far. Like, I can see we're currently sitting at 611 euros total, uh, which is amazing. Uh, and keep donating towards an even more hopeful number by uh, going into the donate button below the stream and putting your donations towards this amazing cause. Um, so, uh, there is def it's definitely just enough itself a great reason to, uh, to donate. But if you haven't checked them out already, you can also type exclamation mark incentives in your chat. I you can see some of the great bit wars that are coming up uh, over the next couple days. Uh, and trust me when I say, you definitely can have a lot of fun choices coming up 
to the donation. And so, you know, you can have lots of fun choices, whether it be costume with wars, name choices with file names. There's lots of choices to pick from. And you'll definitely get your money's worth, both from the fact you're donating to this amazing cause and making this marathon even better in the fun you can get out of it. But then again, in terms of fun, I'm just thinking right now, I still think watching this run is is questioning my sense of reality. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. uh, uh -oh. And I see we've got two minutes left, I believe, yeah? On this timer? Yeah, like one oh, minute 30. Like oh, that. I flipped the car. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> we have like a minute 30. There we go. Yep. I got at least 100 score, pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh, right, I think I mentioned before already that this car steers very badly. It understeers a lot. We're almost done, we have about a minute left. Here we go. Yeah. What? Here we go. I'm gonna try to get at least... Uh, maybe an even number or something. I feel like if I can... Ju I, I have plenty of reasons to donate to this charity. I'll do 50 cents per, per zombie that I hit. See how high I can get in the next 30 seconds. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's one. Well, speaking of donations, we've got one that just came in. May I read it? Yeah, sure. All right, amazing. Uh, it is 9.49 euros, very specifically, from Nordic, uh, with a comment saying 620.49. That's the funny numbers, right? Wait, damn it, my dyslexia. Oh, well, still good money to a great cause. And indeed it is. Uh, so thank you for your donation, putting us at, a, at the number of 620.49 euros for Project Hope. Uh, and that particular donation has gone towards the costume choice bid war uh, for uh, Splatter Master, uh, which will be part of the Summer Festies uh, block uh, later today, uh, which puts Human Boy at the top choice at 9.49. So thank you very much for your donation, and let's keep it going. Very nice, very nice. All right, so uh, this is the last mission in the r in the game. Uh, we're doing a race against someone from Friesland, which is the north northeast side of the country. Uh, fun fact about Friesland, their accent and dialect is so strong, they have their own language in Google Translate. I am not kidding. Uh, so yeah, we're racing against someone from there. Uh, once we win the race, that will be when time is, but we're not there yet. Uh, I tried going out of bounds in here before. You can kind of drive off-road, but apparently he rubber bands really hard. So it doesn't really help. It doesn't really speed up the, the 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 race itself. But yeah, here we go. We're just driving as fast as possible, avoiding all traffic. I'm just taking the inner circle. Uh, we are coming up on the end very soon. And I saw that my zombie score was 132, so it will be... Uh, if I remember it right, if I do the math, 61 euros to charity, sure. We'll do that. Time will be very soon. In three, two, one. Time! Hooray! So that... Well done. Yes, thank you. Uh, so we won. That was New Kids Nitro Racer. 17 silly little missions. Uh, oh yeah, you can drive all the cars around town if you want, because... Why not? Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I don't think this game is available anywhere. It's like abandonware. So if you do manage to find it, very nice. Wow, I didn't know this car was this fast. Uh, if you would like to find me, I speedrun some games like Borderlands. I do rhythm games and other silly stuff every once in a while on my Twitch. And sometimes I make art as well. If you uh, have Blue Sky, you can probably find me with the handle Ugyu. Sometimes I do art as well. And uh, for now, that will be all for me. Great. 
thank you so much uh, for this run. Um, I hope that uh, uh, people here might perhaps have a grudge against playgrounds or whatever after watching this. There's definitely lots of chaos that we've all been enjoying what, uh, watching this. Uh, and the amazingness definitely is not stopping there because we'll be right back after a short intermission after which there will be SM64 Sapphire. So sit back and relax everyone, we'll be back shortly. <laughs> 